This is my survival base. The only reason I was able to last so long. Mobs can't spawn underwater, and a surprising amount of blocks look good when waterlogged. I built it underneath a formation of ocean ruins that I thought looked like one continuous structure. This is my industrial area that provided me with all the resources I needed to build anything I could dream of. Some highlights are the tree farm that enabled me to cut down many forests worth of spruce trees, and the mob farm that provided twice as much gunpowder as I could possibly use. Behind the industrial area is the village where I first got my villagers from. It's a small island that it's the only spruce biome for like a thousand blocks. To highlight the beauty of, you know, the isolated biome, I built a giant spruce tree at the top of the hill with a path coming up to it from the village. I had plans to build a whole network of underground sewers and catacombs beneath the village that connected up to this tree, but some things just can't be finished. <laughs> Here's my first base, a, t a terribly ugly house of cobblestone and planks. It's not pretty, but it's a reminder of the humble beginnings of every hardcore world. Finally. Here's the medieval area that I was working on when I died. I plan to make an expansive village bleeding out into the surrounding biomes. The magnum opus, of course, would be the giant gothic cathedral in the center of the town. I had a lot of good memories in this hardcore world, and I enjoyed every second of it. The death of a hardcore world is just one part of its life cycle, and I'm looking forward to going even longer in my next world. I hope one day I can look back at this world with nostalgia, knowing it was just the beginning of my expansive hardcore building career.